Hello everybody, my name is Bob, and we're taking a break from Skyrim to play Grounded. Now, I both love and hate this game in approximately equal measure. Uh, Grounded is a game in which you are a teenager who has been shrunk by a mad science to the size of a bug, and now you're stuck in a suburban backyard that to you has grown to an enormous size. Uh, it's a whole landscape. Um, Grounded is hard. I don't mind that it's hard. I mind that it's hard in stupid ways. Uh, it's not at all clear what bug or plant part you need to unlock a technology. Nothing tells you this. There is a built-in guide, and it's fucking useless. There are not even hints in the game into what direction you should go to improve your abilities. There's almost no lore about the environment in which you find yourself. Obviously, it's a, it's a backyard. It, it's previously only inhabited by insects. There is no lore. Um, if you, the only way you can find out that cutting down dandelions, for instance, is basically the only way you can get weed stems without a level 2 axe that is almost impossible to get, you have to chop down dandelions to find out. Uh, gaining better, better weapons in Skyrim, for instance, is clear. If you have a steel sword, you have to steel, unlock steel technology, and you want to get an elven sword, you need to level smithing, uh, until you can unlock the Elven perk, and then the Blacksmith Forge tells you exactly what ingredients you need to get. And except for leathers, you don't have to hunt down anything terribly obscure in order to find those ingredients. Either the black ships, black, 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 Blacksmith Shop will, will have those ingredients, or they'll be in a mine. You can go mine them. Uh, you don't have to slaughter some elusive rare bug in order to get the materials. Um, also in Grounded... Getting a better weapon does not necessarily mean that it is better in most respects or does more damage, only that it is better in some respect. Bows, for instance, do less damage than javelins, which javelins you get right off the bat, but they may have a slightly higher rate of fire, a better ease of use, and uh, arrows stack in your inventory, which javelins do not stack. But it's not exactly a revolutionary change, uh, and the reduced projectile drop of arrows is of little use when most bugs can advance on you with frightening rapidity. Uh, mites, for instance, can leap, and the distance they leap appears to be exactly the distance they can see. So if they can see you, they can jump right at you and attack you at the same time if they're jumping. Uh, they can also leap vertically, too. They can pretty much jump across the map as long as they could see you. Uh, so the fact that your arrows have a flatter trajectory is, than javelins is often freaking useless when you're forced to be in the melee range pretty quickly anyway. Um, you know, most creatures are not going to stand back off of, off of you and let you fill them with arrows. They're, um, they're going to close range with you and murder you. In many cases, to advance the technology, you have to defeat bugs that are very ne nearly impossible for you to defeat. And in the meantime, while you're failing to advance in the game, what are you doing? Uh, drinking dew drops constantly, because that, as far as I know, that's the only source of clean water in the game, is dew drops. Uh, and eating bugs. That's glamorous. Uh, your character never changes. There is no XP in a role-playing sense in the game. You never get experience. You never get more health or skill except through external means like making smoothies or wearing armor. If you ever get better at a certain thing, like the bow, it's only because you're getting better as a player, not because your character is getting improved at all. Your, your character does not change as far as I'm able to tell whatsoever. Uh, you, in, in theory, as long as you have the, the requisite skill yourself as a player, you could start off uh, you know, at the very beginning of the game with a javelin or at the end of the game with a javelin and you can do exactly the same things because your your character is not going to improve at all. It's not going to get stronger. It's not going to get more stamina. It's not going to get more health. Nothing. Also, getting stuff for that damn ro robot is annoying and I don't like it. I'm not your surf robot. I'm not not your, your, your errand boy. Um, also, what's your motivation? Uh... You're not going to become a powerful warrior or a master of the arcane, uh, nor are you even going to ever speak to another human being in the game, except in multiplayer. Obviously, then you can speak to real people. But otherwise, you never speak to another person. Uh, your goal is to get out, to get your old life back, to get unshrunk. That's not much of a goal, the status quo ante. 
In fact, considering, you know, uh, that, um, that living shrunken is at least adventuresome, your, your current condition might be better off than the status quo ante. Uh, you know, so your your motivations kind of, aside from surviving, non-existent. Okay, all that being said, uh, and I uh, probably probably could probably find some more quibbles about grounded, but all that being said, why do I also love grounded? Some areas of the map feel genuinely perilous in a way that Skyrim rarely feels. Uh, you're not a big fish. You're not formidable. You are a small fish in a very big pond and dangerous pond. Uh, perilous like you know you're going to get owned if you engage that wolf spider. I mean, it's almost an ironclad certainty that uh, unless you get some sort of new, better tech that you don't even know, have, have any way of knowing whether it even exists, you're going to get owned by that wolf spider. It's just, uh, just a fact. <laughs> you're, he's going to wreck your world. Um, in Skyrim, if you fail to take down that dragon or that dragon priest or whatever, you know that your failure is fundamentally one of method, and if you use different methods, you'll win. Uh, the enemies are scaled to you, so you can absolutely defeat all of them in Skyrim. And grounded, that wolf spider is going to kill you, regardless of what you do. Uh, unless you get some kind of tech that I don't, I don't know exists, and you don't have any way of knowing that exists, it's going to be, and then if you can get it, it's going to be really hard for you to get it. Uh, and that, that sense of danger is actually kind of refreshing. Uh, I love the grounded that is uh, vertical as well as horizontal. Uh, Skyrim should have had bigger trees and climbable trees, uh, which it does not. But you can climb the grass and the weeds and stuff in uh, grounded. Uh, climbing to the top of a thistle and gazing out at the whole big small world is one of the greatest feelings of gaming. You are the Tarzan of the backyard. It is uh, visually a beautiful game. It's worth playing, even though in many respects I hate it. Also, something I failed to mention is you can have pets in the game. And as far as I have been able to see from my limited experience, uh, having pets is absolutely useless, if not uh, actually annoying. Um, my character has a pet gnat, and that sucker is annoying. Uh, it's uh, just absolutely nothing but an annoyance. Um, I thought about doing a, a new single player game for um, for the video, uh, but I'm not sure that you could keep multiple single player games going. Uh, so this is kind of already in progress. I'm I'm not uh, sort of entry level, but uh, I'm sort of uh, high entry level, I guess. There's the fucking gnat. Gnat loves me. I'm about to murder it. Seriously, I'm about to, about to, about to murder you. Uh, one thing is you will constantly be drinking dew. Dew is the only source of clean water in the game as far as I've been able to determine. Uh, and... and uh, and so you are constantly drinking dew. Uh, let's see, what am I doing? Uh, I think it's... Alright, it's first thing in the morning in the game. So, uh, I think I'm going to head uh, southwest to the, the swamp. Yeah, because there's some interesting things there. Go away, Nat! I'm sorry I ever befriended you! I was actually trying to kill gnats, uh, but um, uh, apparently if you give them enough food, they, they love you. And so, he loves me even though I don't love him. This is food, but it's not uh, very good food. I mean, it's not. it takes a lot of those things to fill you up. Also, 
also, you'll run into these damn grass stems, and you'll run into them at the worst possible times. Uh, you're trying to escape from a wolf spider or something, and uh, you're trying to back up, and there's a, a frickin', frickin' grass stem in your way. Seriously, this thing is annoying, and it's useless. It doesn't, it doesn't fight for you. It's, it's, it's a gnat. How could it fight for you? Um, they're, they're busy attacking shit. What the hell is that? I don't know what it is, but I probably should try to attack it. Because there's no way of knowing what bug part. Oh, that's a fucking mic. Disturb the mites, and they'll bite. Might up ahead, the goblin of the backyard. <laughs> yeah, see, they'll, they'll jump a fucking football field. Is the hobgoblin of little mites. Oh, you motherfucker. Fortunately, they don't do much damage, but, I mean, they're still annoying. Alright, that thing that I saw, I need to try to find it and try to kill it. Whoa, guys, look! It's an original 1982 yoked girth action figure. Well, some of them, anyway. fuck is this? Oh, you... Here's the thing that I'm just trying to find. Where the fuck are you? Well, we don't want to get down on ground level with this thing, because I have no idea what this is. Where are you? Seriously, for self-preservation, I'm going to have to kill you, Nat. There we go. Okay, I've got to go straight back home because now I've got technology that I don't need to uh, to lose. And uh, oh, oh, fuck, 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 fuck! Something's mad at me. Ouch! Oh, it's not too bad. Get wrecked, bitch! Okay, apparently you can just walk over arrows and pick them up. That's handy. Alright, so I gotta go ahead and get, get back to... Uh, Back to home base because uh, whatever this shit is, I just picked up. I need to scan that shit straight away. That's a, that's another kind of larva, a harmless kind.
I'll take it. Matt! Can I at least ride you? Can I walk on top of you? No. Uh, where am I going? I will say that your sprint is actually pretty generous. Oh, that's a uh, dandelion uh, thing, fuzz. Dandelion fuzz, which you can use as a parachute, which is good because you uh, very often uh, get uh, vertical. I don't really need that much food, so I'm not going to kill that thing. I need to go, just go ahead and uh, cook this larvae or aphid. That'll be enough. Uh, now, cooking attracts ants, which are generally non non hostile, but but they'll eat your food. So, so you have to get hostile with them. This gives you unlocks. Um, more technology. Liquid Rage, Larva Blade, Stuffed Larva. Alright, make sure there's no ants eating my shit. Uh, what do I need to craft a Larva Blade? I don't know sure if that's even, you know, I've given the weapons thus far and uh oh that poison's on hit okay eh. all right so what's the damage on that compared to an arrow uh speed and uh, poison Uh, why can't I craft that? Mm. Oh, I need a... Not bad. Okay. I guess I'll put the larva blade in the position where um, the javelin is now. Because even though the uh, arrow is weaker than the javelin, um, uh, I, I used arrows, so. I really admire my restraint not murdering this gnat. I don't I don't murder him because uh, in theory that's his way of showing love. But I'm about to show him my way of committing murder here in a second. Uh, okay, let's, let's grab another chest because we're running out of... Where's chests? Okay. It's his way of showing love. Well, that is a bee up there. Okay. Uh, that's about noon. I have my own arrows. I got enough. These, uh, quartz, brittle quartzite and brittle uh, whetstone are 
very much needed and they're practically impossible to get. So, uh, all right, well, let's get back head back to the swamp. Yeah, or not, or we won't. Let's see. Can I? Uh, Can I build this? I am so tempted to murder him. All right, well, whatever. Yeah, I mean, I, I never even, I never desired to have a pet. I, I made him a pet by accident. But that's one reason why I could never do the um, uh, Ebony Blade questlet thing uh, in Skyrim is because um, you know, I, I couldn't bring myself to be dastardly enough to murder friends. So, ooh, water. So I'm afraid I'm stuck with a gnat. Unless you just no water filtration tablets needed. That's a uh, dew. Uh, you have to have dew is the only, as far as I know, the only source of clean water in the game, aside from a, a drink dispenser that's in the uh, the mega base thing, which I'm not looking for an excuse to go there. Here, multi-teaming that, uh, that bug. That's the spider web, which is good news because I'm going to want to have spider web. Bad news, however, because it means there's spiders nearby. Oh, why did I do that? Oh, that's a spider. No bueno. No peachy bueno. No, no. We're not doing it. We're not having it. Oh, that's another that's a spider ling. Oh, fucking might. Oh, you motherfuckers. All right, run away. Ooh, lava blade, not bad. Kind of liking that.
Okay, this place is full of spiders. Now, ants will get a little miffed at you if you get near their nests. Uh, so, that can aggro them. Uh, otherwise, they're not hostile. Unless you get hostile with them, which you may have to. Nice and clean. Uh, if you want to preserve your food. What was that? You'll find that uh, getting up on things is a... That's a bombardier. Okay, that's, that thing is OP. Yeah, those things are OP. Ouch. All right, run away. Run away. Here's where I recruited that gnat. Accidentally, I, mean, I was actually here killing gnats, uh, and um, and one of them accidentally fell in love with me, and uh, you know, the whole thing is regrettable. Uh, these uh, needles is how you um, get arrows. Which I don't especially need more needles. But I want to get up here to, to show you what it looks like from the uh, thistle top point of view. Reason why I shouldn't get needles here while I'm here. I'm going to go ahead and bandage up. Now one reason if I fall off this thing, I might wind up dying. And I'd really rather not. I'd rather not die. Right, well, this appear, appears to be the limit of how far up I can go. As you can see, it's uh, it's quite a view. Let's see if uh, I can see anything that uh, looks... Um, Interesting or useful. Well, I'm going to go over there and look at that Garfield or whatever. See if we don't get eaten by something. I have the uh, dandelion fluff, but um, it can be a little quirky. Oh, Nat. 
Okay. Alright, this may, may be bad. There could well be creatures in here. All right, well, it's getting late. Um, Don't even need to boil it. Let me see what this colorful thing is over here, and then I'll head back. Soda can. All right, time to head back. And unfortunately, there is no fast travel. And I'm quite a distance away from home. So I'm just going to have to sprint for it. And hope there's nothing bad in this water. That's a spider. Crap! Oh no. That's a big nope. That's a world of big nope. Hey, Mr. Ant. And something's chasing me. Fortunately, they don't seem to chase you far. Uh. One thing is, I doubt that they can even get through the, the grass very well. All right. Which way is home? That way. Unfortunately, you said you can set a waypoint, but you don't always see what, where the waypoint is when you're going around the world. So that kind of sucks. Uh, do I have any food? No. Uh, gotta go kill something. And that is what? That's a firefly, which is a fucking monster. I mean, it won't go out of its way to attack you or anything. But if you happen to be dumb enough to actually fight it, you're just going to be your, your living nightmare. Pretty much. Pretty much everything, anything large is going to be your living, living nightmare. Now, these ants are hunting something, and what they're hunting, I want to eat. I'll take that wheel meat. Thank you very much. Look at that ant go. I never noticed her eyes glowed in the dark before.
Well, why is it that sometimes when you walk over the arrows, it'll pick it up, and sometimes not? All right, well, this shit's got to get out of the way. That as a pet. No, you don't need more pets. Uh, yes, you gotta look after your food because ants will steal it. Are we done cooking yet? Just pretend it's beef jerky. Yeah. Pretend it's beef jerky, not bug. No water filtration tablets needed. All right, nappy nap time. 